Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're going to show you how to get indents out of carpet. Now, there are several different methods to do this. However, in this video, we're gonna show you the ice method. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, here we are in the living room and you can see some indents in the carpet there. And we had an entertainment center sitting there for several years. And just a couple days ago, we switched to the floating entertainment option and design, as well as hung our TV. However, because of that heavy entertainment center, it left some pretty good indents in the carpet. And what we're going to do is show you how to get those out. What we'll start with is a bag of ice. Now, as far as the ice, we are using what is called nugget ice from our Opal Nugget Ice Maker. And we're just going to apply the ice cubes all around the indents. And you can use regular sized ice cubes, that's perfectly fine as well. And as these ice cubes melt, what they do is basically shock your carpet and as the water melts into the carpet, it actually loosens the carpet and basically fluffs the carpet back up. And that is what we're hoping for. So I will continue this process around the entire indent of our old entertainment center. After spending a couple minutes and placing all the nugget ice cubes in all of the indents as well as the lines that connect the deep indents not much back here as far as indent so just be patient allow these ice cubes to melt and as they melt again as that water makes its way down into the carpet it is going to loosen up the carpet and it is going to raise the carpet just ever so slightly and at that point you will take a brush or a fork and work the carpet fabric up and we will show you how to do that here after the ice melts as we patiently wait for that ice to melt we actually had a circular indent from that pot that held that plant and when we inserted and secure the new entertainment center we pushed the plant and pot closer to the wall leaving an indent right here what we did we used a wet rag and an iron and then a little fork to pick at the carpet and pull it up getting rid of the indent. So if the ice method does not work, definitely try the iron and wet rag and fork method. However, I will say if you've got pretty deep indents, the iron and wet rag may not be your best option. Try the ice first. If you want to check that out, that link is scrolling above. That may be a video you will find helpful. We're just patiently waiting for the ice to melt. At this point, I've got a fork and in the areas that the ice cubes are melting, what I recommend Go from the indent out about one inch and start roughing up the carpet and fading the carpet that had no indent into the carpet that had the indent. And go the complete opposite side out one inch and do the exact same. And you will notice as you do this, it is fading the carpets together and getting rid of that indent. And this carpet here has absorbed all the water from the ice cube as it melts and it has loosened up all the dented and pressed down fibers of the carpet and you can do this in areas where the ice has melted however the deep indents i'm patiently waiting for the ice to melt to the opposite side and the rear indents were the deepest and as the ice melts i'll just kind of use the fork and you can actually twist it like this that's another method and replace your ice cubes where you want them. All right, DIYers, I went and grabbed this awesome little brush here, and this is working a lot better than that fork did on indents that aren't so deep. The fork comes in very handy on the deep indents. But this little brush is extremely beneficial in getting those shallow indents out in between the deep indents. I think the hardest part about this project is patiently waiting for the ice to melt. And again, this was one of our deep indents. I'm using the fork. Go about an inch out, maybe two inches, rough up the carpet. Go into the indent. And you wanna switch sides. And always pull toward the indent. Really do your best to mix the fabric of the carpet together. From here, I'll grab the brush and just kind of work it in to the carpet and it grabs the fibers of the carpet and I will work them up. Let 
the most part, it's working great. All right, DIYers, we are all done. Again, patience is key, allowing that ice to melt and work its way into the carpet. And hopefully this helps. Hey, do us a favor. Below the video, you'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Say hi to Pete.